What's going on, people? Welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna YouTube channel. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simeon. And just a short video today ahead of Arsenal's big Premier League clash with Liverpool tonight. Uh, I wanted to do a little focus piece on Benfica striker Darwin Nunez. Now, it feels like forever that Arsenal have been linked with pretty much every striker in Europe. It's well documented that the club are looking for a player to come in and play in that position uh, going into the summer. We were heavily linked with a number of players during in January and unfortunately we were unable to get a deal done for anybody that Mikel Arteta and the club saw sitting right at the top of that priority list. Now one player that Arsenal have been linked with and a lot of fans are quite keen on seeing come to the club is Benfica striker Darwin Nunez. Now I had a good look at Darwin Nunez yesterday. I was on commentary duty for Benfica's clash with Ajax in the Champions League. It was the second leg last night and Benfica managed to scrape through to the last eight courtesy of Darwin Nunez's goal. Darwin Nunez is a player that I really, really like. And I mentioned him on a video that I dropped a few months ago now, where we looked at and focused on a number of strikers that Arsenal should consider moving forward. And he certainly made the list. So what did I see from Darwin Nunez last night that impressed me? What do I see in the player that I think would work for the Arsenal? Well, first of all, He's a really, really uh, big and physical guy. Now, I know that's not the be all and end all, but to have a physical presence up top is a good thing. It gives you a focal point. But what we've seen in years gone by with the likes of Olivier Giroud is that having a physical presence can sometimes mean that you sacrifice on the mobility of your striker. But in Darwin Nunez's case, that would not be a problem. He's very quick across the ground. He's a very willing runner. And although he's this big framed forward, he's not somebody who isn't happy running the channels. You put the ball down the right channel, down the left channel, and you get Darwin Nunez running and pulling out to wide positions. He is more than happy to do that. But going back to his physical presence, it means he's the perfect guy if you also want to mix it up a little bit and go a little bit long. If you want to be a little bit more direct, Darwin Nunez has all the physical capabilities to play that role. And that's one of the reasons I think he'd be a good fit. Another reason is that he's young and he's still developing and he's got so much room to grow. Benfica are a club with incredible history, but they're not going to win the Portuguese league this season. And you'd probably imagine they'll get knocked out of the Champions League at the next stage. So if he wants to further his career, if he wants to better his career, why wouldn't he be open to a move to the Premier League? He's South American and he has that tenacity I always associate with South American forwards, a real passion for the game. And that really came through in his celebration of the winning goal yesterday. But he looks like someone who physically ticks all the boxes. As I say, willing runner, very strong, very powerful. Is he technically up to the standard that's required? Is he as good as Alexander Lacazette in terms of the link up? in terms of the build-up. It was a little bit difficult to judge all of that stuff on last night's game because, of course, Ajax were completely dominant. How they lost that game is beyond me. Well, we know how they lost it. Darwin Nunez popping up with a wonderful header, which Andre Anana um, was completely all over the place for, by the way, another player we were linked with. But going back to Darwin Nunez, he is somebody who I think ticks all the right boxes physically. But I think there's still probably some question marks about what he would bring to the table from a technical standpoint. He scores goals. There's no question about that. Darwin Nunez is somebody who has proven that he can score with regularity. But I always say that there's a question mark over whether that can be translated from uh, the Portuguese Liga Nosh into the Premier League. The standard is higher. The league is a lot more difficult. And sometimes the statistics that we see from strikers in foreign leagues can be a little bit misleading with regards to what they should then achieve in the Premier League. But as I say, he fits the profile in terms of a player who seems to have all of the right attitude, seems to have all of the right values, isn't afraid of some hard work. I'd be quite happy seeing him lead the press for Arsenal as we move forward. Um, gives us a physical and aerial ability 
uh, or aerial prowess, I should say, that Alexander Lacazette simply doesn't. And so in those games where we come up against the back five and we're forced to work the ball wide time and time again, you can put the ball in the box and feel pretty confident in the fact that Darwin Nunez is capable of causing centre-half's problems. And that's a threat that we simply don't have. At the I moment. think he's someone who's very, very attainable as well. I've mentioned the fact that the Portuguese league isn't the strongest and that naturally most players at some point in their careers would want to move away to better themselves. But Benfica is a club where there's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of focus on you and your performances will be scrutinised week in, week out. And being at a big club, although the standard in Portugal might not be quite as high, it does prepare you for what's to come when you then join a club like Arsenal, where again, you'll be under incredible scrutiny. Your performances will be micro-analysed. That big club mentality thing, it is a thing. And being at a club like Benfica, I think, prepares you better for a transition to somewhere like Arsenal than you would be prepared if you played for, for argument's sake, a mid-table sign in Portugal. So I think in that sense, he's a good fit. He's had that big club experience. Physically, he's got everything that I'm looking for. He's tall, he's powerful, he's strong, he's quick across the ground and he's a very willing runner. Hard work does not phase Darwin Nunez. So in all of those aspects, I think he'd be a good fit. Question marks around his technical ability, just a little bit for me, just based on the fact I didn't see an awful lot of that on display last night, but I also know that that was largely because of the standard of their opponent. Um, and then the link-up bit, which is obviously such a key part to our relative success at the moment. If you take that away from this team, do you get as much out of Saka from the right, Martinelli from the left, Smith Rowe when he plays, or even Martin Odegaard? It's really important that the player has, whoever it is that comes in and leads the line for Arsenal, that, that football IQ, that football intelligence that we have really enjoyed watching over the last few months because that is what creates a cohesion. Lots of great minds, lots of great footballing brains. And when you wire them all together, you get what we're getting now, which is good, enjoyable football to watch, quick thinking, smart moves, smart patterns of play. And, and I'm not saying that Darwin Nunez can't do that, but if there was one question mark for me around his suitability to Arsenal Football Club, it would be that. And that is purely based on me probably not having seen enough of him. So I do completely accept that. But he seems like a good fit. He feels like a good fit. And given Arsenal posted a huge financial loss, I don't expect the summer to be as uh, as a sort of, um, what's the word, as big in terms of the spend. I think we will go out and bring two or three players in that we will feel we need, particularly if we qualify for the Champions League, to hopefully enhance that squad and take us up to another level. But I don't expect us to be spending hundreds of millions of pounds again. And this is a deal that I think could be done for a pretty decent price and a price that will fit in to Arsenal's budget quite well. Don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget we'll be bringing you some post-Liverpool content later on this evening. So make sure your notifications are turned on. Help us uh, towards our goal of 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube by the end of the season. We're well on our way, but we need your help. Like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment in the, in the uh, comment section. Darwin Nunez, for you? Yes? No? Let me know below. Catch you all later.